sometimes we apply content across multiple panels. It could be images or patterns or stripes. In this situation, how do we get a seamless image across panels? We are going to use an old paint of mine for this exercise. The Energizer Bunny is spread across two panels, but he looks pretty good. The way to achieve this outcome is to use two Energizer Bunnies. One partial bunny on the top panel. Another partial bunny on the lower panel. We perform precise and patient trial and error alignment. Drag the bunny into our project. Create a group for the bunny. Create another group and name it left. Create another group and name it top. Now drag the bunny image to the top panel. We need to resize the bunny to fit our needs. Ensure the resizing preserves the image aspect ratio. Once we have the size and position correct we can create a mask. Select the mask layer. Select the mask tool, select the top paintable area. Use that selection to mask the top group. This prevents the image from spilling over onto other areas of the template. After exporting the paint we can see the bunny on the car. Now duplicate the bunny. Create a new group named Lower. Drag the lower group to the same hierarchy level as the top group. Roughly position the bunny on the side of the car. Export the paint and use the car viewer to see the result. The bunny is too far forward. Move him backwards, then export the paint and check the result. We are getting close now, move the bunny backwards by a small amount. Export the paint and check the result.
when images are wrapped over curved surfaces we get some distortion. I'm going to slightly reduce the size of the lower bunny and move him over a little more. Now we have an excellent result. Once again, create a selection around the visible part of the bunny. Again I'm using the mask as a guide which makes it quicker and easier to create an appropriate selection. Then mask the lower group. Now repeat the process for the right side of the car. Copy the left group and name it right. Rotate the contents 180 degrees. Position the top and lower bunnies on the right side of the car. Export, view and adjust as required. While this was a very simple example, this is the approach I always use. More complex scenarios can involve the need for image rotation and sometimes image warping, which is an advanced topic.